For me, it was very special with the Lurvik project that we, for the first time, targeted not the many people, as we do at Rakia, but actually the many animals. Well, I was very happy when I got involved in this project. I was always waiting the moment that IKEA brings uh, pet articles into the range because I know there is a need on the market of well design. Uh, product, so I was really, really happy and enthusiastic about the idea to be part of this uh, big project. Okay, can we go live, please. Roll camera. Speed. It is quite important for IKEA to have a pet range that fits into our normal furniture range. As a pet owner, I can say, so far, the normal pet products are quite ugly. <laughs> so it's quite nice to have well-designed uh, and good quality products for this family member as well. Because I love my work, most of the times when I, when I develop something, I do it with a lot of emotion and I put off all my heart on it, on this. It, it was so special because finally I can do something for them and, and something for, for the many dogs or cats in the world. So I, I was, yeah, I was just very, very excited. I am, I'm very happy that IKEA took the, the decision to, to start selling products for pets and I hope that many families can really enjoy and, and the most important part of it is to spend time with their pets because they need to spend time with the owners. This is something that is very important in the relation between pets and, and, and people. It's quite important to separate between dog needs and cat needs and that is also where um, I contributed in the project to consider cat needs a little bit differently in the sense of cats need special textiles, um, smell is quite important and they want to have it cozy and sometimes dark and closed off. While the dog is happy to lay over yourself on the sofa, the cat might need a separate area close to you. So um, that is where I think we have developed the range even more to separate, so that just not to call them pets, but to have dog products and cat products, and some products that actually can be used by both. Dogs re really want to be physical. So if you kind of really cuddle and hug the, the dog, it's, it's, it gets extremely happy. They, they want that more than they say, good dog. They don't, of course, you can say, you can do both. You can say good dog, etc. but you should always kind of be physical with the dog. With a cat, it's not really the same way. Of course, cats really enjoy if you pet them. So there's been research also where to actually pet, uh, pet a cat. And the favorite areas is where the cat has these pheromone glands, the scents. So it's on the chin, and on the ba base of the, of the ear. I love my, my dogs because I feel like they are the ones, the only ones that can really take me to the present. Whenever I have, I'm stressed or whenever I have, uh, I don't know, my head full of thoughts, I just go and spend time with them and suddenly everything stops. 